Welcome, welcome, welcome. We say good news to you. This is the Atmosphere for Healing, a special program that is being brought to you through the kind ministration, the healing ministration of our men of God, the Alliance and Prophet Hubert Inja. We are coming to you from the beautiful city of Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. And why? Because the men of God, the Alliance and Prophet Hubert Inja, held a crusade for three days that are from the 30th of June to the 2nd of July, and signs, miracles, and wonders follow in that in that administration, in that conference. And from there, the miracles and the testimonies of the healing, amazing testimonies, we just decided to bring it to you. But before doing that, we want to take this time and opportunity to thank our men of God, the Alistair Prophet Yubert Angel, for according us this opportunity and even saying yes to God, answering Jesus. And because of that, through the extremities of his hand, healing miracle signs are taking place around the world. So, so we thank you and we appreciate you. Of course, the program, The Atmosphere for Healing, has been brought to you through the kind courtesy of the Healing Institute. So obviously, we thank the entire Healing Institute as well. Now, uh, when you're watching, please share this broadcast because we have amazing testimony for you in store. So make sure you are sharing the broadcast on social media platform, whoever you can kind of say this is a special amazing testimony that someone needs to hear so share the broadcast and we will be right back after this break supernatural power of the believer discover the secrets to growing in the five dimensions of god's power Order your copy of this best-selling book with over 100,000 copies sold by Hubert Angel from the Amazon Kindle Store or visit our online shop at www.hubertangel.org. Thank you, our partners and friends, for making it possible to bring this message to you. Those wishing to partner with Hubert Angel, please visit www.hubertangel.org. Welcome back, welcome back. This is the program, The Atmosphere for Healing. This time, as I said, we are bringing it to you from the beautiful city of Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. I have with me in studio a special guest with an amazing testimony by the name of Sarah Benedicto. Sarah, Sister Sarah, welcome to this program, The Atmosphere for Healing. Thank you, thank now, you. Now, I want you to tell the audience your medical condition what you were suffering from before well thank you thank you pastor yeah. thank you the hearing institute mm -hmm. i am sarah medic from tanzania right uh, i've been sick mm. i have been ill mm. for long since i i can remember it from since i was five years that's right that's when i think that's the age i can remember from the age of five yeah but before my family i was sick even from before mm. i used to see the pictures when i was uh infant yes that's my mom used to tell me this picture he was in an oxygen machine mm. this picture was in this it's wow. a history mm. oh well when i was infant i used to have asthma mm. it has been a problem to me mm. but i grew up i it's come and go, it's come and go. Once, once, I don't feel it. Mm. It's not a big deal on me right now. Mm. Well, the big deal I was having is headache. Headache. Very chronic headache. Chronic headache. If it starts in the morning, mm. I would just say in my family, I have the symptoms, I feel the symptoms. Mm. Then they will say, take medicine immediately before it's becoming strong. Mm. Because I'm, I, get, I got used to it, I used to say, it, those medicine will do nothing. Mm. It's until midnight, mm. till I sleep. So you want to, what we are saying is that this condition from the age of five, actually, yeah, the, that the, the chronic uh, the, the chronic headache, headache started when I was a standard six. From six? Yes. Chronic headaches. Yes. And, uh, the, the doctors, what did they prescribe or what did they say to you would be a solution to that chronic headache that when you see when it starts from the, in the morning, it's like your day is gone. You know what is amazing? Mm. The doctor never said anything. Wow. I remember I was a form three. Mm. I was going for a CT scan headache so they should know what is going on. Right. I got an accident. You see this scar? Yeah. I got yeah. the accident. Mm. So from that day, it was 206. 
to wow. six. So I didn't go for medical checkup for headache. Wow. I just end up taking painkillers, mm. different painkiller injections. Mm. Mm, that's how. So th that's how you've been living. Yeah. And at, at your age now, yes. uh, how old are you now, if I may ask? Wow. I want to say this, how I feel right now. <laughs> I have seven, one week mm. and four days mm. with no pound extra, mm. with no, I have this material to take. That's right. Headaches, we have this in our tattoo in Tanzania here. Mm. Man, I have not taken that for one week and four days. This is after you have met after the, the prophet, prophet of God. Of God. But the, from the age of five, the severe chronic headaches you were suffering from? No, the age of five, which was just asthma. Asthma? Yes. And then from six, headache. headaches. From the headache six. compounded to a lot of other medical yeah, problems. Yeah, the headache the came to, uh, when I was a classic, the headache turned to have a low blood pressure. Low blood yeah. pressure. Yeah. Mm. It's, uh, I remember that day, it's the first day, mm. I just feel it. It was a visiting day, my dad came to visit me in Kenya. Mm. Just, I ordered the food. I was like, my dad wants to come out, eat this and this. That's right. But I didn't even taste it. Wow. I just feel weak and uh, I just felt on the table like this. Just collapse. Yep. Simply because of the chronic headaches. They say, when I go low to, blood pressure. Yeah, when I go into hospital, mm. imagine class six, a girl of class six, low mm. blood pressure. Am I getting that? Wow. I went to hospital, they say it's a low blood pressure. At the moment, they're saying low blood pressure. At the same week, I got my limbs were tightening mm. in, a, in a way that I was getting pain. If I, will, I lie sleeping, I yeah. started crying. Wow. It was a problem to my family, especially my dad and my mom. It was serious, very, very serious. So from that class six, up to how many years it lasted? Well, I can say from that class six yes. to today, mm. I am 28. You are 28. Yes. So, and class six, it was like when you are six or five years old. Yeah, no, it was, it's like I can say, because I repeated the class because of my condition, mm. I was not doing good in class because I spent much time in hospital and at home. Mm. So I had to repeat the class. So I can say, so my age was big, uh, mm. but thanks to having a good body. Yeah. So I was like, I can say I was like a 13, something like 13 years. From 13 yeah. years old. Yes. Now up to this time. Yes. When so so it like almost like a thirteen to fifteen years you've been Definitely, suffering yes. suffering this situation. Yes. Chronic headaches, dizziness, dizziness low blood pressure, low pressure, your lungs, everything sleeping at night with pains. Yes, ulcers. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the medical practitioners, the doctors, did they prescribe anything as a kind of alternative solution to, to what you were going through? Yes, I was having, I, I was under medical mm. and I just attended these different three officer. So I was having, I, I'm meeting different uh, specific doctors, specialists, mm. I mean. Mm. So everyone was giving me the tablet that they think is best for me. So what kinds of tablets they were giving you? Well, uh, I, I Do you have some of them? Yes. Yeah, it's important for someone watching out there I do have some know. of them. I have some of them. Maybe I can show you because yeah, I, yeah, I, I yeah, feel, free, feel free to okay. show them because we want to we wanna, let the people understand what you were going through. Yeah. You know, today they smile on your face wow. and uh, you know, you know, like smiling joyfully, giving your testimony. But it wasn't like that before meeting the prophet of God. Yeah, sure. So let, let the people see what you were going through when it comes to the medication, <laughs> the different types that okay. it prescribed for you. Well, mm -hmm. you see this package? Mm -hmm. This is my medical package. Wow. I used to put every type of medicine I use in here. Wow. So, mm -hmm. even the injection, when I used to have, when my limbs are paining, mm -hmm. and uh, we went over block, yeah. so I could not have BIMA, the insurance. Yeah. The insurance card all the time, so I have to buy medicine. Mm -hmm. You see, this is some of the injection yeah. I used to use. Mm -hmm. These are my. For pressure, low blood pressure. Low blood pressure. Yeah, they gave wow. me when they say if I feel that, mm. I feel the symptoms, mm. I used to take them. I have ah. so many. And um, this for was it's appetite. I terrible. was losing appetite. Mm. And uh, my blood had never been constant. Mm. So I always take tablets to increase my blood. Wow. 
So this all packages. So, so this, this is not this is not something normal. It's not for you to be living, you know, on tablets, on injection, it, on all not. kinds of caucasian of, of of a prescription that sometimes you don't even remember exactly what it is Hane, that you're taking. These things was normal to me. Mm. If you tell me about injection, oh, I'm relaxing. You, if you want to inject me, do what you want. If the doctor, yeah, you, yeah do what you want and go. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I was, I was getting to inject myself. Wow. Because I used to, um, if I see my financial condition of my family is too low, mm. I just say, Mom, if I go to the hospital, they put me in yeah. I can inject myself. So, so that was the level and degree of desperation that you just feel, well, I have to do it myself. I just in injected myself last month. Wow. So putting the medical, can we say lab my just two or three days ago, it was before, uh, let's just say, until the arrival of the prophet. But putting this medical package aside, mm -hmm. where you yourself try to find solutions somehow to, to the situation you are going through? Well, uh, honestly, I've mm. been trying to find a solution for my health mm. in all the traditional way, mm. hospital, yeah. advices from different people. Churches? Churches. Mm. Actually, I gave up on churches. Ah, tell me something. Tell me something. What happened? <laughs> um, it's something happened with me. I went to religions. Yeah. Yeah, one in Tanzania, one in Kenya. Mm. And uh, I met something that I was not looking at it. Mm. So I gave it up. I feel like all pastors are the same. You feel that, that yeah. there was no solution yeah. to your problem? There was no solution for my problem. From the pastors? From the pastors. I, 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 that's what I felt. There was no solution for me. Mm. There was not even that um, motivation about the Jesus, about mm. everything. What mm. I also tell people, I used to tell my friends, mm. if you believe on them, I don't believe on them. Mm. I believe only on the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Set. Mm. That's what I used to But believe. as for church, because you have really expected that your condition would have gone away when you start going to church, but it didn't mm. happen. I used to tell people that if we used to pray, mm. I can pray for myself. Mm. If we used to preach, mm. I can read the Bible because mm. I learned the Bible. Mm. Yes, I used to learn the Bible. So I used to say I can pray for myself and I can preach for but my family. But it did not take away the pains, the low blood pressure, the chronic headaches. Now yeah. tell me. All these things were happening. Uh, let me just speak to someone before you come <laughs> to it. Uh, you watching us out there. It's important you share this broadcast. But what I want to tell you is that because of the prophet of God coming to Tanzania, especially the city of Dar es Salaam, in this year, 2023, from the 30th to the 2nd of July, 30 June, 2nd July, miracle signs and wonders happen but prior even to the conference he was already on the ground and this particular miracle that we are talking about that Sarah is explaining giving actually her own you know desperation in trying to find solution it happened even prior to the conference so you can understand because the prophet of God was in town at least a week ahead before the conference so I want you to tell me something yeah. because it seems to be you are lost hope against all hope because mm. the pastor you felt that there was no solution medically you were not having the solution and you said traditionally whatever it means you were trying there was no solution so tell me your encounter now with the prophet of God the earliest thing prophet you been injured mm -hmm. and now what happened actually in a mm -hmm. in a in a term of word life yeah i can say it's a simple thing that's happened to me what he did to me mm. very simple what did he what, what, what happened in in that <laughs> in that place where the power of god was wow the first thing that i went to that conference for trying i wasn't even know that he'd be there you went there to try i went there but the man of god always tells us uh, the highest thing from a year he said when i move i move by commandment yeah. i don't go to try i go to do <laughs> So you went there thinking you would try. Tell me, what <laughs> happened? Uh, did you know the Halestin prophet you were in jail before? No, that day, it was my first day to his service, mm. and it is the first day for me to know about prophet Hubert Angel. Mm. Actually, he just, I saw him, yeah. and people were shouting, mm. like uh, people, everyone is shouting on his one Yeah. That, 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 that's the spirit of expectancy. Yeah. Because where the prophet goes, yeah. miracles, signs, wonders follow. So when people see him, they know that there's a solution. Yeah, but but you, for you, it was your friend. So tell me, what happened? For me, I took him with, as a normal guy. 
as a normal person. Yeah, I just, honestly, I took him as a normal person. Mm. Yeah. But he's not normal. The supernatural no, no, yeah. Now tell me, what happened? Did he speak to you? Did he nope. prophesy? Did nope. he minister? No. Nope. What happened? Because you were only in the atmosphere. Well, what happened? Mm. The moment he was preaching to the to the in the to church, everybody. everybody. Yes. And uh, he was walking. You were walking yeah, around the aisle. Around, yes. around. Mm. Something happened on me. Whenever mm. he was coming, like it, two to three steps close to me. Yeah. I feel scared. I feel crying. What? So the, the power was, was, was within that, that perimeter as the prophet of God yeah. moves. I just asked myself, mm. what's going on with me? But I had the voice telling me I have to go to him. Mm. Something is pushing me. I have to face him. Wow. wow. But wow. I, I control it. Mm. I, I was like, oh, people, how will people see me? How mm. will people judge me? Mm. I control it. After the service has end, yes, the prophet moved to his mm. to the or at the, the office. Yeah, something just came in my mind that mm. I'm not going home until I meet this man. Until you meet the prophet of uh -huh. God, something compelled you. Something mm. caused me. So what happened? I waited, mm. and uh, at the moment he was coming out from the office, yeah. he was too lush. That I cannot talk to him, mm. that I cannot explain what I want, mm. but what I got, mm. what the time was passing near me, mm. he passed me for the first step. Yeah. Then I lashed in front of her. I just I overtake. Yeah, as, as he passes you, you, I, you went yeah, ahead. I, I you went, were desperate yes. to really make sure that encounter yes. happened. And, mm. and regards his bodyguards, I mm. didn't mind about everything. Mm. So I just, when I reached there, he was talking to Pastor Tony's family, mm. Pastor Tony's kids. Mm. Then I kneeled down on my knees. You just knelt down? Yes. And he saw me. He saw you when you knelt down? Yeah. At you, the moment, you, yes. At the moment I'm kneeling down, mm. is the moment he wants to leave. Mm. So what he did, yeah. I just got the touch. Oh, or touch God. from the prophet. Yes. That, 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 that's now the unction. Yes. That's the anointing of the man of God. Because yes. the touch is not ordinary. You mm -hmm. may have looked at it that this prophet, I don't know him, but when he touches you, the power flows through his hand and it begins to flow through you. So after that touch, yeah. ah, Sarah, before you come to it, <laughs> someone watching us, it's, it's important that you understand that connection, that connectivity to the prophet of God, because there's potency, there's power when the man of God ministers. And distance is no barrier. Wherever you are, make sure that you are connected to the prophet of God, because that connection will bring the power to heal you, even through the airways, through the social media platform, every aspect that you will do to be able to get connected to the prophet of God. It's important because through that, we can hear people testify that they have been healed. They have been healed. They received that miracle yeah. simply because they connected to the prophet of God. So, Sarah, you yeah. tell me. You tell me. I, <laughs> I see you because you say he just touched my shoulder. Yeah. I, and what happened at that moment? At that moment, mm. I got a headache. Mm. The four headache hedge. Yeah. Like three times, like kicking, like. Kicking and stop. The, the, the very, the chronic headache. Yes. It was like, yes. you know, palpitating. Yes. Just, just, just like, like the heartbeat. Mm -hmm. mm. And uh, my limbs tightened for like one, like for a second. Mm. They tightened yeah. and they were released. Release. They, like, they, they, they came together yeah. and then completely released. From that? From that moment. From that moment. From that Thursday, it was 30 June. June. It was 30 June. Twice, what well, before? Because twice that you are talking about yeah, before no, not, the I, conference. It was, yeah, it was before the conference. Yes. From or that, week before a the week conference. Week before the conference. That's right. From that Thursday mm. till the moment I'm talking, mm. I have not taken any tablets. No more tablets. I haven't feel any headache. No headaches. No chronic headaches. No. Nothing. There is no. When I say. I haven't fit. I just fit in the morning because I haven't slept well because of the conference mm, many times. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. That's what I knew. And I haven't taken This is medicine. powerful. This is powerful. And this medication, you must take it every day. Every but because day. of the touch of the prophet of God, it's, it's important that people understand that power. 
You may have tried any other yeah. pastor. You may have tried other traditional. Yeah. You may have tried the medical. Mm -hmm. But when you encounter the prophet of God, the highly esteemed prophet Yuber Inja, yeah. your life is bound to change. Amen. Now, you can see that there's power that flows through the hands of the prophet. Yeah. The power is there. What, what, what will you say to those watching now, you oh. know, who might be in the same condition or situation thinking otherwise, about different, different, you know, we don't want to talk about different, different men of God, but about maybe Christianity or other things. Now that you encounter the prophet of God, mm -hmm. the highly esteemed prophet you been injured, and yeah. you are healed, mm -hmm. smiling, well, and I know you, smiling. you're holding back a lot of things, <laughs> you know, from your eyes I can see, but you are smiling. I'm really what, smiling. what can you say, tell them, someone watching over there, what can you actually tell them? Look, look, wow. just explain, or, or just tell them something. I want to tell this people of God, mm. this man, mm. Prophet Hubert Angel, mm. he's a little man of God. That's it. That's it. Exactly. Mm. I have received a miracle from him. That's right. That's I admit, right. and I surrender, mm. Mm. that mm. he did something in my life. Yeah. Spending seven days, seven, one week mm. and four days without tablet. Mm. It's, not an, it's not unusual to me. It's not normal to it's you. It's not normal to me. But today the fourth is, um, is the, I have, is the four, I'm having seven, one week and four days. Yes. Without taking anything. That is, that is unusual. Yes. For and your I, medical condition. For my medical, I wasn't able to spend time on so light sun. Mm. But on Saturday, I spent from morning. A lot of heat. A lot of heat. So that when you are exposed to heat, you have, you have the, the yeah. problem as well. But Saturday, it was over really hot. Yet, no dizziness. Again. You are normal. Yeah. No dizziness. Okay. No low blood pressure. No, no chronic mi no. migraine or illness. No. Everything for 17 plus years that have really bothered you yes. completely disappeared. Okay. Why? Because you encounter the man of God. The man of God, the prophet Hubert Angel. I want to tell people that this man is a man of God. Amen. Put Amen. a faith on him. Mm. If you mm. believe mm. in the word of God mm. and if you believe he will hear you. Mm. This man he is. Amen, amen. This man did. Now, I know. Well, 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 Sarah, why they look again till whatever? What do you have to say to the prophet of God? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, um, well, when it comes to that, I'm shivering. Mm. I feel like shouting the word and mm. telling them how I feel. Prophet, you wet angel, thank you very much. Mm. Thank you for visiting my country. Mm. Thank you for everything you did. Mm. Thank you for the power you have. Mm. Thank you for being humble and mm. listening to your inner voice mm. that motivates you mm. to use the power God has given you. Mm. Because it's not usual to other people have powers and they're not using them. Mm. But you, you're really using it. Mm. Thank you very much. Mm. I believe this hearing is a continuously, mm. continuously, mm. continuously. I'll be healed. May God bless you. Mm. Always be blessed. Mm. Stay humble and strong. Mm. Keep working. Mm. Keep working. Mm. Keep fighting the mm. word of God. Mm. Keep preaching all over the word. As, as I speak from the day I met him, mm. I surrendered my heart back to Jesus. Amen. 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 Powerful, 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 powerful testimony. You know, Sarah, when, when you begin to, to just, uh, you know, pull out your heart, because your encounter with the prophet of God is not an ordinary encounter. Yes. You might take it to say a normal touch. So many people can touch you. But when the prophet of God touches you, your healing bound to happen. And here you are testifying. Yeah. Because the power of God is resident in the man of God. The Alistair prophet <laughs> Yibay, Wherever we went, we see signs, miracles, and what following. Yeah. The demonstration of power, the power to heal, signs, miracles, and wonder happen simply because the prophet of God is there and the power of God is present to heal. So we want to tell you, watching us, wherever you are, it is now your time to begin to say, let me get connected to this prophet of God. You have heard our sister, Sister Sarah, who said at a certain point in time, I was not even believing on the pastors. I was not believing on any religious leader, no man of God. I believe simply that, oh, there's uh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and nobody. And I was not even going to the church until 
Somehow, she found herself in the very environment where the man of God demonstrates the power yeah. of God. And surely, she received a healing that is permanent and for days. That which she was unable to do, she can now do. It can happen to you once you get connected to the man of God. That connectivity, it brings your healing. It brings your freedom to you, and you will get it free for free. So I encourage you, wherever you are, make sure that you become partaker of that grace. And... We just also want to take this time and opportunity to thank our men of God, the Alistair Prophet Hubert Angel, who are giving us the opportunity to be able to follow and see that the healing power that has been demonstrated is being brought and being around the world. So people know that the God of the Alistair Prophet Hubert Angel works miracle signs and wonder. Thank you, Prophet. Thank you, Prophet. And of course, this is the atmosphere for healing which has been brought to you through the kind courtesy of the Healing Institute. We thank you very much for viewing and for watching. But until next time, this is Pastor Moses saying bye-bye for now. Good news to you. Surely, good news. Receive your healing at the Healing Institute with Prophet Hubert Angel. Register for free at www.healinginstitute.org.